At the top of the misty mountain in a faraway kingdom stands the Calendar Cave. It has been there since the dawn of time. Each year, a different zodiac animal makes the Calendar Cave his or her home. One New Year's Eve, Pig slowly made her way to the Calendar Cave. Finally, she reached the cave. Hey, dog, it's New Year's Eve. It's time for you to go, oinked Pig. No! Go away, Pig! This is my cave! If you don't leave, I'll. I'll. bark and bite and have Pig's trotters for my dinner! Woof! 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 Dog barked out. Pig's trotters for dinner? I don't like the sound of that, thought Pig. And so, Pig trotted away from the calendar cave. The day refused to end. The sun would not set, and the moon refused to rise. Oh, this isn't good at all, Pig oinked. She trotted off as fast as her four plump legs would carry her. Finally, Pig made her way to the other zodiac animals for help. Ha! I'll soon get Dog to leave his cave. Rat sniggered. He quickly scampered up the mountain path to the Calendar Cave. Once Rat arrived, he squeaked out at the top of his voice, "Hey, Dog! It's New Year's Eve. It's time for you to go." No, go away, Rat. This is my cave now. If you don't leave, I'll, I'll bark and bite and have ratatouille for dinner, made with real rat. Woof, woof, woof. Dog barked. Ratatouille. I don't like the sound of that. Thought Rat, and so Rat scurried away from the calendar cave. New Year's Eve dragged on and on. Bats and birds bickered, neither knowing whether it was truly night or day. The wind ceased to blow, and leaves hung still in midair, waiting for permission to fall. Oh, this isn't good at all! Rat nervously squeaked. Rat scurried as fast as his four legs would carry him. Returned to the other zodiac animals and called for help. Leave it to me. I'll get Dog to move. Rooster cockadoodle dude. Rooster carefully strutted up the mountain and made his way to the Calendar Cave's entrance. Hey, Dog! It's New Year's Eve. It's time for you to go. Rooster cockadoodle dude. No. Go away, cockadoodle dude! This is my cave now. If you don't leave, I'll, I'll bark and bite and have chicken soup for dinner. Woof, woof, woof! Dog barked. Chicken soup? I don't like the sound of that. Thought Rooster, and so Rooster strutted down the mountain, returning to the zodiac animals. Hmm. This time, some of us should go and see Dog together. Tiger suggested, "If we work as a team, Dog can't possibly ignore us." Tiger gracefully strode up the mountain path, followed by Pig, Rat, Dragon, Rooster, Monkey, and other zodiac animals. The zodiac animals stood together outside the calendar cave. And called out in unison at the top of their voices. Hey, dog! It's New Year's Eve. It's time for you to go. Dog knew that she had been defeated. Working together as a team, the zodiac animals had triumphed. All right, all right, I'll go. Dog barked. Come on, pups. Dog finally left the calendar cave. As did her puppies. Where will we live now? Dog asked. After having given birth to her puppies, Dog had hoped that they would be able to stay in the cave forever. 
There's room for you all on the farm in the valley. Pig oinked. Oh, thank you, pig. Dog replied. We'll head there now. Meanwhile, Pig entered the calendar cave. She oinked happily as the moon rose and the sun set. Day turned into night and then back into day again. The other zodiac animals celebrated with Pig for hours on end, all merrily cawing, roaring, and squeaking out the same thing. Happy New Year! Pig smiled at the other zodiac animals. The year had only just begun, but she could already tell that it was going to be a good one.